Good evening and welcome to Leroy House of Soul. As you can see, I'm Leroy House of Soul. Me personally, I like to do a lot of old school food. I mean, I, I, I do other things, but I like, to do old, I like to go old school for my preference because I grew up a while back and that's what I knew about old school. This has been a very busy month for me. In the last two weeks, I, two weeks ago, I had an order for 22 people. They wanted um, they wanted mac and cheese, cabbage, barbecue chicken, and potato salad. I fixed that for them. And then this past Thursday night, I had another order for uh, meatloaf, green beans mixed with uh, corn, and cornbread for 14 people. And now tonight, I come to show you we're going to be doing Pink salmons or salmon patties. If you're from New York, you say salmon croquette. But in the South, you don't hear too much about salmon croquettes. But now we're going we gonna to do this. But to start off with, so our uh, ingredients can be cooking. And we get our head of the game. We're going to saute our onions. I love to saute my onions when you're making salmon patties because you get the flavor of it. I don't like the sweet onions. I use the regular onions so you can get the flavor of the patty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add everything, uh, the potatoes and the onions has already been prepped up. I'm gonna add my onions here so they can be they they, they can be sauteing. Depending on how I just turned it down so it won't uh, get hot, I won't get cold or burn rather. So I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna put it back on here and let it let it do its thing. While that while that's being done, I'm gonna turn my grease up for my potatoes. Okay, we got the we got the onions in there, and the balance of the onions you're gonna see is gonna be for your for the potatoes because they have to have it, they have to have it also, and you want that you want that, that that flavor to go into your patties. So now while that is browning, what we gonna do? We are gonna go to the the salmon itself. What I what I normally do because you know on, on the salmon you got that skin right there, and so. I take me a knife, I can also, also use the fork, and I peel that skin off. I peel it off and I just stick it in the can. Like that. I don't like really using that, that, that skin because it tastes funny. So, and I don't want to give it to my customers like that. So I, I, I do that way and then I open the middle of a portion of it, like this part don't have a bone in it. So I'm just going to scrape that skin off and we're going to peel that bone out. It's just one bone that's going to come directly out of, out of the salmon. Let me uh, find one with the bone right there. No, that's not it. Okay, we got one right here. If you notice, there's one big bone right there. And you take that and you peel that bone, those bones out. Because you like me, you got no teeth in the back. <laughs> Then uh, you don't want to be biting down on that on, on that bone, so I do that and I peel the skin off. I more like to do it with my hand. Now you get in here, all, like I said, all that skin right there, you peel off. You open it up down the middle, and I, what, what's left of the bones, you take that out because you don't want you don't want to chew on them bones, especially giving it to your little ones, your children. All that skin, that black skin, and all that. You don't want that. You peel that out. Take that up like that. Get those little few bones out. What's left in there. You're going to throw that away. You don't need that. I'm just making sure there's no more bones in here. So get your fork. You're going to... You're going to mash that up. Mash it up real good because you're making your patties now. You're going to get a couple of eggs. Okay, we're doing two cans of uh, salmon, so I'm going to put three eggs in there. That's to hold it. And we got one other ingredient in here that you have to put in here also. 
You got your salmon, your eggs. You're going to need flour. That's to hold your patties together. I don't measure. I tell you that I'm an old southern boy and I, 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 I don't measure. My grandma didn't measure. She took a pinch of this and a pinch of that and put it together and that's it. She used it. I always say you have to mix the bitter with the sweet and hope it come out tasting good. It's going to come out tasting good. So you get you a little, a little flour and you put your flour in there. Get you a little, couple of little handfuls of about, of about four fingers and and you go, you got your flour. You gonna use your salt. Like I told you, I don't measure. I mean, if you measure, all well and good. But I don't measure. I use my lorry. I love lorry. Come on, with it. You put your lorry in there, and then you got your black pepper. All this going in there. And we're gonna stir. You're gonna cut them eggs up so they can be all in there to make up your ingredients. Now come the fun part. The fun part is you're gonna put your hands in it like you're making biscuits. And you're gonna you're gonna make your patties. Just, just grab some, bring it over to your pan. Well not yet. You're not gonna put them in there yet. You're gonna make your patties like that. If the onions are not ready yet. So you're going to make your patties like that, and then you're going to put it in your pan, but the onions are not quite ready. Let me just... We're going to hold off for a few minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a plate, and then we're going to... Put the simons on the plate while we're waiting on them that to finish. So we're gonna grab a plate. We're gonna make our patties. I just made the first one. I right, do it over. Just take it. Don't worry about your hands smelling fishy. You're gonna have to wash them anyway. The lead in the plate. This is very good at breakfast, extremely good at breakfast. Get you some grits and some Pillberry biscuits and take them and put them in the oven and brown them bad boys with this. And you got a meal, make you want to smack somebody. And some of you got a neighbor, somebody coming over and they want some, you can tell them my old favorite saying, your eyes may shine, your teeth may grit, but none of these simons you're going to get. So, <laughs> so you, can you, can, you can tell them that. Because if you start it, they always want you to do it. So we just we just uh, getting getting nice all together while the onions are browning. I should have done my onions in the in the beginning, so excuse that. So that's what we're doing at the moment. So we're gonna wash our hands and wait for those onions to brown, and we'll be back in just a second. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, as you can see. Our onions are brown, they saute and everything. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our salmon and we're gonna lay them on top. We're gonna lay them on top. So the bottom of that flavor is gonna come up through those salmon. And when you flip it over, you're gonna get the balance of it. Ain't no cooking like soul cooking. But you got to know how to do it now. You can't be a rookie and say you're going to cook soul food. You got to have one of them grandmas that's going to 
sit you down and, and teach you. I know I, my grandma used to tell us, you learn three things in life. You don't, learn none, you don't learn nothing else. Learn how to cook, learn how to wash your own clothes, and learn how to sew. If it's nothing but a button, that way you got to depend on nobody doing nothing for you. Now I can do two out of three. I cook and I wash my own clothes. So on, I'll save it for the cleaner. I ain't got that for you. <clears throat> but as we're going we gonna to finish up our assignments right here, we're going to pat them up nice and round and brown. This is my first video, and um, I hope it's successful, and I hope I y'all y'all like because y'all come to, to get to eat. You know you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat, and you're gonna eat more and more and more and more and more. You may gain 20 pounds trying to eat, and I always do mine buffet style. I set it up buffet style, and uh, let you fix your own plate. Now, I don't slave cook and everything else. You can fix your own plate. <coughs> Now, now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the potato part of it. Wait up time for cooking. Wash my hands and get that. I'm going to rinse this plate off right here. I'm going to take the potatoes on there. I don't know how to keep going back and forth. As you can see, the grease for the potatoes and the potatoes, is, the onions is nice and brown and everything. Not, so now what we're going to do, we're going to drop the potatoes. So I have to uh, put that wood in there. We're going to shake them potatoes off. We're going to bring it over. I can hear you know you hear that sizzling. We're going to get those potatoes a few minutes to, to, to brown on one side, then we're going to flip them over. We're going to check our assignments and make sure that they brown. No, not quite brown. But you can tell if they're not ready yet because they're going to break. You can see that they'll break. Get you a nice spatula so you can turn them. Do, you're gonna get you another plate. I can, I can use that. Get that off, and we're gonna soak up, soak up that grease. That's how you have all that grease leaning over. Paper towel right there. We're gonna check our fatty. Looks like it's gonna break. You get your fork, push it on there, turn it over. It wasn't quite ready yet, but 
I'll let that brown just a little bit more. You just flip them over. I'll wait a few minutes on those potatoes and we can just we can flip them over. As you see, I got a lot in there, but it's better to have it and don't need it than to need it and don't have it because you don't know when somebody's going to come and say, we'll have some. You can ask them to have some, but nine times out of ten, they're going to say, yes, yeah, thank you. Half of them don't know how to say no thank you. <laughs> but I'd rather have it to give it to them anyway because they don't, you know, I'm a, I cook heavy anyway. I'm by myself. I cook heavy. And that's just, that's just me. I, that's just something I, I, I do. Because I love cooking. Cooking is one of my favorite hobbies, as well as fishing and bowling. But since Corona decided to come, I can't fish no more because Corona want to take over. And, uh, and, and uh, 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 I can't bowl no more because they closed the bowling alley down. So all I'm, I'm left in the kitchen and waiting on my orders for my customers to come. So I can prepare their meal for them. They can have time. They don't even want to go home. They'll sit here and eat here. they sit all on my furniture and whatever. And they eat They eat with their little plates and everything and sop up the just sodas and stuff like that. Which is fine with me. I don't mind. I don't mind.